Do you want me to start Guys, we have uh, Rob Samuel, CEO of Makers Mark, and of course Tom George. And uh, we're here today to announce a, a partnership between U of L Makers Mark for, um, obviously, you see the Charlie Strong bottle. That will go, the proceeds will go to a new academic center of excellence that we're building um, on the South Terrace, uh, underneath the on the South Terrace in the football stadium. Uh, will be a project that uh, Makers Mark has spearheaded. And we'll have uh, Tom George first to talk about it, and then we'll uh, take your questions after that. Well, first of all, thanks for everybody for coming today. This is a very special project for us, and uh, it's great to have the Samuels family involved. Uh, it was really Rob that worked with, with my son Mark on getting this thing spearheaded, and uh, I think it was a phenomenal idea. So we knew when we started the expansion of the stadium five years ago that this was going to be a potential facility for us. So we built the infrastructure right underneath that South Terrace, and we knew that we we'd make the South Terrace actually, uh, we'd, we'd retrofit it so that it would be, become the roof or the ceiling of the new building. So we're, we're ready to go on that standpoint. So when we get our funds together, we'll have, we get the beautiful drawing. I think anybody that, that has seen it coming over Central uh, Avenue, it'll be an all glass facility. It'll house uh, all of our student athletes that, that want to be there. Uh, Marvin Mitchell, who has done a phenomenal job here with academics, he, uh, he is pretty much going to handle all of his personnel and have everybody down there housed in that building. Right now we've been kind of spread out, as you know, we've got a lot of people here, we've got a lot of people at the football facility, a lot in the Yum Center, a lot out in baseball. Well, it'll give us a better area to put everybody together. We'll be able to have tutoring rooms, a, a, a computer labs, probably some food service in there, uh, classrooms. It, it'll, it'll really, really serve us all six to seven hundred student athletes at one time and we're, we're really excited about it. But, this is Rob's day, and I'll tell you what, it's, we call this a partnership, but it's, uh, whenever you're getting a gift like this, it's a great partnership. So, Rob, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate thank it, you, sir. My uh, pleasure. This is, uh, this is exciting for me personally as my grandparents, who created Maker's Mark together in the early 1950s, were very proud alumni here at the University of Louisville, and my grandmother would often joke that she was, uh, while they were in the same class, she did graduate first in the class, and while my grandfather uh, didn't graduate quite last, he was pretty close to the bottom. <laughs> and uh, that's how they settled those few disagreements they had. For instance, when she suggested that each and every bottle of Maker's Mark be hand sealed in red wax, he didn't think it was really practical. And she, would, she reminded him that you know, she was the one that graduated first in the class. But uh, it, were, it were Kentuckians that kept Maker's Mark, their vision, the creation of Maker's Mark uh, alive for decades. Uh, before, Kentucky, before Maker's Mark was discovered beyond the boundaries of Kentucky. And my grandparents were always adamant that we do what we can to give back and support uh, important, worthwhile initiatives. And when Mark Jurich brought this idea to our team at Maker's Mark, it was a, it was a natural fit. Um, our goal over three years is to contribute $500,000 towards the cost of of this new academic center of excellence which is inspiring for me personally as a Kentuckian. As a fan it's been a lot of fun to partner with uh, with Tom and Mark and and Charlie Strong, Coach Strong actually designed the bottle which went on sale this last Friday, sold through retail really really fast and uh, we have plans for a signing where uh, uh, Coach Strong <coughs> Tom, myself, will be at the Melwood Arts Center on August 1st from 5 till 9 p.m. Tickets for that signing, just to help organize and facilitate the signing, will, uh, will be available at uoflsports.com. But uh, we'll release 700 tickets for the signing that will take place August 1st. When, when an idea like this came about, what, what was it that, that you thought? Hey, that this is going to work. When, when was that kind of formulated and, and how long ago has this been in the process? Well, the key to it was getting the stadium built, getting that expansion because, as you know, that was a very aggressive project and a very difficult time, not only from where we were as a standpoint of the program, but where we were in, in, uh, financially in this country. So once we got that done, then we were able to move forward with it and just to really start planning the thing out, having the infrastructure built in, having the drawings already put together. and. Uh, and then getting uh, Rob on board and his family, and uh, you know, I commend Mark. He's not here today. He's down for Liberty Bowl function, but he uh, he did a great job putting this thing together. He'll be the one on the front lines raising this money, so we're excited about it. In terms of uh, athletic camaraderie, having all everybody studying in the same place, academic services in the same place, 
in terms of you know what does basketball and men's basketball, you know all, all these other programs working together is that part of the vision? It, it really is because you know we are spread out here. We are a little bit landlocked, so you, as you see, our facilities a lot of times don't make a lot of sense. There's no rhyme or reason. We just have to kind of go where the land allows us to go. And, but it's worked out great for us because it's been a enabled us to, to do a lot of things aesthetically on the campus. I think it's really helped instead of having just one corridor, we've got them all spread out. So I think that's been a real positive. But for Marvin, from his standpoint, Howie, to, and all his personnel, I think it will be a much more manageable situation for him. Tom, any apprehension at partnering with an alcohol company for an academic complex? Not at all, because they're an iconic company in the state of Kentucky, just much like Churchill Downs is. I don't look at Churchill Downs as a gambling facility. Tom, you've been talking about the academic center probably for as long as you've been here. Um, you know, where is that for you personally to get that done and finally be able to start moving forward on it? What does that mean? Well, it's now it's a reality since we've got a, a great league gift. Uh, from Rob, and then a lot of people. We've got another anonymous gift that's that's in the seven-figure range. So we're we're already well on our way. Now that we get it out to a public stage, I think it's going to be of great interest to a lot of our fans and boosters because it's an incredible cause. And I think that's what what caught Rob's eye is that you know it's it's an incredible uh, uh, I think result for our student athletes to be able to have a an area like this, but they can continue to grow academically, and that is our number one goal. We we can talk all we want about having great teams and winning championships and, and doing those kind of things in the entertainment value. But from our standpoint here as an athletic department, we need to graduate our student athletes, and I think this will really help us do that. Rob, are you uh, surprised at all at the, at the, the swift sale of the, the <laughs> Charlie Strong bottle? I'm not. I'm, I'm a fan myself, and uh, you know, just in conversations with people that, that are, uh, you know, that I'm friendly with. The fan base is, is inspired and motivated for what we all believe is going to be a successful year. But what this is, the bottle is really about is helping bring to life uh, the program, the Academic Center of Excellence that is going to help uh, as a nice investment in this university and the next generation. Are there plans to do more bottles? I mean, I've heard stores saying we're sold out, we can't get any more, or any of that kind of thing? N not, not this year. Are they sold out completely, or still some left? Based on what we're hearing is they all sold out the very first day. Do most guys, Rob, want to get into the ball with the design of the bottle? Was that unique that Charlie wanted to do we, that? We, encur we encouraged it, and, uh, and Coach Strong did give us some feedback that led to the design that we have here that I think uh, is, is unique to, uh, to makers and unique to, to Coach. Tom, the word was that one store sold out a 1,000 bottles in three hours. I mean, what, what's that tell you about the excitement level about football? Well, tell you they like Maker's Mark, <laughs> but you can't blame him for that. But no, it's uh, Charlie's. He's done a fantastic job, and uh, the enthusiasm around our community is a, at an all-time high. And I, it's exciting because I think so much is not about results oriented, but I think it's the way it's been built, and I think the way that all our student athletes have been involved in the community, the type of staff that he's attracted, and you know he wanted to be on this bottle, and that, and I think that's a great thing. That he, he wanted to, to really help this project, even though he, he's, it's going to benefit football, but football, football academics will stay probably in that facility, but they'll be able to use this one too, but they'll be so, ha so handy with each other. But I think Charlie, he jumped on, he said, anything I can do to help the rest of the university and the rest of the athletic team, I'm going to do. What was his reaction after seeing the bottle? Well, I think he liked it. He was, like you said, he was involved in this, in developing the, the entire thing, and uh, he, he liked it a lot. The first one that, uh, that we saw, we we didn't like as much because you couldn't really tell Charlie, but this one you can really tell Charlie there, which is great. Who chose the picture? <coughs> Charlie did. <coughs> but Rob had final veto power. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you guys have taken sort of the lead on this, but it's not like it's going to be the Maker's Mark Academic Center for Excellence. You just want to get involved with it just because of the project itself, or it just seems uncommon that you wouldn't, wouldn't be like the Maker's Mark. So. Yeah, we're, we're not involved to have name recognition or visibility within the center. If anything, we would suggest that Coach Strong and others that we partner with, that they be featured and celebrated for, for the donation.
No? <laughs> Sorry. It's good. Yeah, it, it, it is good. Sure. It is good. Sure, it'll help. Whatever you want. Go ahead. It was the highest overall GPA in Google history last semester at 3.11. Um, it, well, do you think this will keep increasing that GPA? Is this actually, is this new center only for student athletes or regular students? No, this will be for student athletes. Okay. And, so and all the Lady Birds and all of our dance teams and our cheerleading, things like that. Pet band, our pet band's a part of our athletic department. And is it aimed at to continue increasing that GPA, Absolutely. keep it above 3.0? Absolutely. Absolutely. Those are our goals. And every year we're going to continue to raise that bar. And if, if everybody that's been here as long as I have, Eric and Howie included, know that we've raised that bar every single year. And that's a credit to Marvin Mitchell. I mean, I don't want to sit here and take any of it because it's he's come in and really given this department a great vision for academics. And we've been able to grow and grow and grow. And this is just going to be another piece in, in his arsenal to really help all of our student athletes. Will classes be held there? Or will that be extra? It's not set up for classes. That's not to say they won't be, be because there will be classrooms. I don't know how that works now with faculty and that if they want to come over and do things like that, but I would not anticipate that. There'd be more study rooms and, and labs and things like that. Well, uh, since we're <coughs> questions, your thoughts on Jay Billis as possibly Big East Commissioner? I heard he was named yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is your feeling about, I guess, that? Well, I'm a big Jay Billis fan, so I think Coach Coach throws a lot of things out there, but I think this one's a good one. <laughs> yeah, this one's a good one. And Jay's, Jay's a terrific, terrific young guy, I tell you. He'd be a fantastic uh, commissioner. I'm not sure he won it, but I'm pretty good. Anything else? Good. Good. All right. Thank you. Thanks for coming, guys.